I just wanted to give you an update regarding Bitcoin Ponzi scheme that was running in uh, 2019. Um, a sixth defendant has been added to the Ponzi fraud case. Um, these are the names here. Um, David's indictment was made public on July the 7th. 2020 and like with all Ponzi scammers one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering criminal forfeiture has also been sought so obviously any of their ill-gotten gains that they've made whether they bought houses cars whatever they'll have to forfeit all of that and end up doing some uh, time in prison now <clears throat> for people that are watching this video that might be in a Ponzi scheme now if you didn't know if you are a net winner in a Ponzi scheme, uh, which means that you have made more money than you actually put in, they can come after you for the money. So they can do a class action and they can come after you to recover that money. It's held in a fund and then they basically pay out to all the net losers in that scheme because there's always a lot of net losers in any Ponzi scheme. So. I won't go through all of this in detail. I'll just scroll through so you can have a little read of this uh, while you're watching the video. And um, you can see that the indictments are marked, uh, a superseding indictment replaces the original March the 4th, 2020. So for reference, the 16 defendants listed on June uh, 2021, which is superseding the indictments, are these people here so again I'll just scroll through so you can just see the names of the people some of you may be familiar if you were involved in this Bitcoin Ponzi scheme or you know anybody that was so uh, several defendants are awaiting extradition from Serbia so it's down to the Serbian Minister of Justice to okay the extradition and um, and then they can go on trial and be prosecuted for running a, an illegal Ponzi scam so that's um, a bit of an update for you. If I hear any more, I will certainly post another video for you. Have a great day.